Drafting with Newmont. Drafting with Newmont, Modern Cube. Let's do it, baby! Throne of Eldraine is right around the corner. I think it comes out in like another week or two on Magic Online, so you can expect those videos coming in the near future. But for now, we got some more Modern Cube. And uh, I guess we just jump right in. What do we got here in Modern Cube? For me, the picks are going to be either Dragonlord Silumgar, mm, Nissa, and like a Bolt. This pack's kind of poopy overall. Nothing that really points me into any... Or rather, not, not an individual, individual card that I'm super happy to have here. I um, think I'm not going to try forcing Mono Red this time around. We'll go ahead and take the Silumgar. Modern Cube is... A lot lower power level, and Silumgar is more, one of the more busted cards to begin with, so I think that's a fine place to be. Ooh, and now we get a Grave Titan. Seems like a pretty good one to follow up Dragonlord Silumgar with. What else do we have in the pack? Gideon's good, Jace is good, Shinobi's good, Downfall, God the Shrine, Charm, Kolagons. Yeah, plenty of good playables here. We'll just take another big fat bomb. And... Uh, See what we get in our next few packs here, as it looks to be a very, very easy Demir Signet. Wow. If you guys have watched any number of my drafts, you'll know how much I like uh, fixing and ramp like this. So, kind of hard that hard to pass it up when it's literally perfect right now. Only other card in this pack I would consider is like the Draga Tree Speaker, if you wanted to go go into green. But with what we have so far, Demir Signet is just too good not to take. Okay, now we have a few different options. This pack is a lot lower uh, in power level overall for any of the blue or black cards. I don't think Doomfall or Geists are great enough to pick up here. So we're going to look at like Garrick, Krasis, Sahili even, or maybe Assassin's Trophy. Um, I mean, it's not hard to go multiple colors in cube, especially with the amount of fixing that they have, so... Don't feel too bad taking a green card here, or even taking Sahili if we want to. Do like some Sahili shenanigans, see if we can pick up Felidar Guardian, and, uh, you know, go infinite with that style. Although, I don't think it's going to pair very well with what we have so far, so I think either Krasis or Assassin's Trophy look like good pickups. And I'm just going to go with the solid removal spell in the form of the Trophy. Okay, another pretty decent pack here for us. Doom Whisperer, Terastodon, Whip, Beast Within... Can't go wrong with another huge flyer. I think we'll just take the Doom Whisperer here. And I think there was a Vanifar that I passed earlier, so possibility of like wheeling the Vanifar and maybe doing like a pod chain as I take the Woodfall Primus now over the Elder Spell in this particular pack. I think. I don't know. Elder Spell is pretty darn good too. I'm always happy to have that card in like my sideboard. Necessarily, or not necessarily starting it in the main. But having access to it is generally pretty good. Sun Titan, maybe the best card in the pack. Yeah, maybe this is just too cute to take. I already passed that uh, Draga Tree Speaker anyway, so... Could be awkward, but... You never know. Okay, got the Overgrown Tomb, so that's a good start. Reflecting Pool, Treetop Village, also fine, but... Overgrown Tomb looks like the perfect pick. It's possible here that I'm also going like green, black, splashing Silumgar, so. I don't know. I don't want to really get married to anything first pick. Although, now with Shouldred, our pod chain would be really, really good. We have a good 5, 6, 7, 8 potentially. Let's see, Cemetery here over Chupacabra, Den Protector, even Vat's very nice as well, but fixing is king. Yeah, if I pick up that Vanifar, I'm definitely going to play it. Pretty fun Vanifar chain. Looking for some hand disruption, perhaps some ramp. So we can just ramp out into our fatties. Reanimator is not really a thing in the modern cube. Um, just basically no support for it. So any creature that costs more than six, you're generally going to have to hard cast. There's like tooth and nail and whatnot and... Maybe a few other ways to cheat him in, but not really. So we get Downfall on the wheel. Can't remember if Vanifar is the next pack, or if uh, it's already gone now. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And yeah, all right. Let's do the Vanifar chain. 
if you've never played with Vanifar, it's basic, basic, uh, bleh, bleh, basically birthing pod on a creature. Man, I can talk. You have to bear with me here. Just finished an eight-hour stream, so. As if I couldn't coherently speak anyways. Well, after an eight-hour stream, I'm a little bit woozy. <laughs> but yeah, good start. Uh, I don't think we'll be playing any of these cards. We already have two pieces of fixing. The Dra Dragonlord Silum Guard's a pretty easy splash. We're looking for something like Kadama's Reach or Cultivate at this point. Uh, and that'll be out of packs two or three. <clears throat> Doom Whisper is a little good synergy with Shouldred. You can surveil some fatties into the graveyard. Speaking of fatties. <sighs> Terastodon is great. I don't think I'm going to run it, though, unless I get the uh that tooth and nail that i was talking about earlier or enough ramp to where i would want to have that many fatties but passing that uh Jiraga tree speaker was already kind of an awkward signal so i'm not expecting to see too much in the way of good mana ramp creature ramp okay red cap that's also not a bad vanifar um, card. Lifebane Zombie for the sideboard is okay. And yeah, we're ticking. Let's go pack two, baby! What do we got here? Another very nice pack for us. Plow Under, Sanctum, Quagmire, Pack Rat, Reborn, Batter Skull. Hmm. I really want to take Plow Under, but I wouldn't be surprised if Fixing is the correct choice. I think Plow Under is just one of those cards, though. It's so back-breaking um, if you can ramp into it early. I'm going to take the Plow here and just try to get some more ramp. Mm, this pack's not great. There is a Kitchen Finks, though, which is good with the Vanifar. Sundering Titan, no. Avenger, don't need it. Yeah, I think I'm okay taking the Finks here over to the Freebooter. Both are good. Finks better for the chain. We now have Finks into Redcap, into Whisperer, into Grave Titan or Silimgar, into Shouldred, into Primus. <laughs> Quote unquote curve, but really just a brick. Nice. Splash Yawk, another very, very good one. Mimic's pretty good. Garrick, Lily, Thrun, all fine. I hate Ashiok as a card, but it's just too good to pass up here. Especially in Modern Cube, where there are, you know, fewer broken things to really be doing, so. Like, oftentimes, if you just cast Ashiok on turn three, it can single-handedly win the game, or warp it in such a manner that, you know, you're not going to have a hard time winning after the fact. So still looking for some mana dorks and then some more fixing. But otherwise we have the core power level down, I think. Okay, Jade Light Ranger, Phantasmal Image, Golgari Signet. Yeah, we have now both Golgari and Demir Signets. So even though we have some really good creatures here, the Signet's just too important for ramp and fixing. Good pickup. Again, some really good cards here for this deck, but I think I'm just going to go safe and take the Blooming Marsh. Having a good mana base is is very important, and I'm happy to take it. Okay, let's just take Lily. Sort of Body and Mind, Duplicate, Rotting Registrar, all fine. More powerful three mana Planeswalkers. Yeah, not seeing the mana dorks, but if I can pick up just some removal, then that'll be okay. Play more mid rangey or a long game plan. Oh, okay. Elf of Deep Shadow. That's a good one. 
normally this is like the worst elf uh, in addition to like Avacyn's Pilgrim, but here we are playing heavy black, so nice one to see. This gives us a way to cast turn two Ashiok as well. Turn one elf, turn two blue source Ashiok. Would be pretty nice. Tarmogoyf, Duskwatch Recruiter, Frixian Obliterator, all cards I am very unlikely to play. I suppose we might sideboard in Tarmogoyf if the opponent like super aggressive. Uh, that was pick eight, okay. So now we're hoping to wield a fixing since I don't think we saw any other mana dorks. What fixing was there? I think there was what, a botanical sanctum that could come back around. There might have been another black green land. Oh yeah, there was the hissing as well, but let's go with the botanical. Glad to have that. Nice. Uh, nothing playable here for us. Not even a blue card we'd want, so it doesn't really matter there. I guess Mutavolt has the highest likelihood of being played. There's the Mimic now. I'm going to take it. I don't think we're going to splash for it in addition to Selimgar and Prime Smeaker or Ashiok, though. Hmm. The only problem with this deck is that splashing Vanifar is a little bit awkward. Like, it looks like we're ba base black green. But Vanifar is just a value creature later on the game is, is not a problem, you know? Hey, Thrag Daddy came back around. So did the uh, Jade Light Ranger. I think I'd rather have the Jade Light here than the Thrag Tusk. Um, hmm. Actually, that being said, I only have one other 5-drop right now. Never mind, I'll take the Thrag. Massacre Worm is a great sideboard card to have. I don't know. Maybe it's better to take Jade Light there since I already have Kitchen Finks, but... Yeah, this looks good. Okay, more last pick whatever's. Hmm, Profane Command could be playable. Get a creature back from my graveyard. Ewit, that's a nice one. Pretty good value with uh Vanifar and whatnot. It's a good take. Passing an ultimate price here, I guess, but that's okay. More fixing, more ramp. That is what the majority of this pack is going to want to be for me. And removal, I suppose. Okay, Overgrown Battlement, Collective Brutality, Dark Slick Shores, all good. I think we probably want to take the Battlement here. It's a two-drop for our Vanifar purposes. It's also just ramp, which is nice to have. Another good pack here. Hostage Taker, Fatal Push. Lumbering Falls. Hostage Taker, another really solid value creature, but I think I'm going to regret just not taking some fixing. We're not aching for playables. We're not going to have a hard time hitting 23 cards, but fixing you're not always going to get. Speaking of, got some really good fixing here. Wow, 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 wow. Cultivate, Chromatic Lantern, Solemn Simulacrum, and Sylvan Carry added. Hot damn. I'm actually not sure what the pick is here. It's probably between Caryatid and Sol uh, Solemn Simulacrum. I think I'm going to go with the Caryatid just because I already have the Battlement, so there's some slight synergy there, but Solemn would be better for the 4-drop pod purposes. Polluted Delta looking really, really nice. There's a Vraska, Yogmoth, Knight's Whisper all there as well, but we already have an Overgrown Tomb, so Polluted Delta gets all three of our colors. No problem. Yeah, now I probably just need to take one or two more removal spells, but otherwise, man, this is looking nice. Super fun. Farseeks, Tribelder, Creeping Tar Pit, Rashmi, dang. 
Again, just getting all the good cards here. This is probably close between Tar Pit and one of the green cards. I think I'd rather just have the fixing and the ramp of the Far Seek, though. So, we'll go with that. Lotus Cobra, now two? Not bad. Only have one fetch, but hey, it ramps and it fixes, so I'm not going to complain. All right, one more removal spell, and I think we'll call it good. Because we do have some removal already. It's not like I'm aching for it. But I just don't want to be too heavily based on getting my value creatures and whatnot, you know? Even just wheeling the Fatal Push would be pretty good. I think there was an ultimate price, too. Worst case scenario, we just play the Profane Command, or maybe even the Massacre Worm. But I think going into game one, I'd rather have Titan plus Silumgar than the Massacre. Mind Shatter, interesting. I like the card. I don't know if I'm going to run it, though. Okay, what do we wheel here? Nothing. Don't think we're playing Hypnotic Spectre, but I guess it could be a good sideboard choice. Come on, Fatal Push on the wheel. If it's not already too late, that was pick 7 E. Oh, Collective Brutality too, not bad. Bailoth is like fine, but meh, I'd rather have the Brutality. It's removal and disruption. And since I didn't pick up, like, Duress or Thoughtseize, I think having the access to Brutality seems pretty good. Uh, if I'm looking at the deck, I don't actually need to run too many blue sources here, do I? We have just the Ashiok, the Vanifar, and the Silumgar. So I might be able to get away with, like, one or two islands tops because we have sanctum lumbering falls delta and then we also have the far seek the carry added the cobra and the signet yeah we might be able to get away with one island i think that's probably doable Okay, Languish for the sideboard, not bad. Pretty good mana overall. Yeah, I think I'm content going to run one island here. Ooh, Knight's Whisper too. Dang. Do I have room for that somewhere? Probably, right? That's got to be better than something in my deck. Man, Rashmi and Glint Sleeve too. I wonder if Knight's Whisper is supposed to be played. I think it probably is. 17 lands still feels right in this deck, though. So what's the last cut? I'm not quite sure. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a tough one. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to cut for the last card. Maybe it's Kitchen Finks. And then I just have Ewit as my only 3-drop. That might be okay. I think I'd rather have the Whisper. Alright, let's do it like that. And then... Only need one island here. Don't need any mountains. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Should be okay. Eleven green sources in my land. Nine black sources. 
Well, maybe we want to go closer to one to one. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, because all of my non basics get a green or are green themselves. All right, let's submit this fun little Sultai pod deck and uh, go to round one modern cube. Here's round one of this modern cube on the play, and looks like we have a keeper. Very, very mana heavy, but I do have a Knight's Whisper to draw two cards, and one of my lands is utility, so I think we're going to keep. Oh no! And immediately get punished by a turn one Thought Seize, which I am going to guess takes Knight's Whisper. Yeah, it does. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> and then immediately draw a land. Yikes. All right. Time to draw nothing but gas. Hey, that's my card. That means the opponent was in a different draft than we were. Because uh, you cannot have two players in the same cube with the same cards. So they have a Liliana of the Veil. That's not bad. We have a lot of lands, so... I'm wondering if I should just Assassin's Trophy that. I think we're just probably going to activate the Lumbering Falls and attack Lily. As OP discards a Swamp. Ooh, although Ashiok is really tempting now instead. In fact, that seems better. So let's go like this. Ashiok. Eat cards. We hit a Nighthawk. A land and an Inquisition. Um. Don't need the Delta, since we already have the Overgrown Tomb. Okay, each player discards. So I'll get rid of my Delta. They pitched. Wow, they pitched Elders Reborn. They must already have a way to deal with it, eh? Rixian Obliterator. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to trophy their Obliterator. I do give them a land. Keep up ticking on their library. Hit land, land, land. Activate Lumbering Falls. Bash the Lily. Play land so I don't have to discard it. I am living off the top, but we're not in a bad spot. I'm really surprised they discarded the Eldest Reborn. Maybe they forgot that Reborn could hit Planeswalkers, is my guess. What do you have for Sideboard versus Mono Black? Gonti. Ooh, that's also pretty bad for me. Man, Gonti gonna steal all my juicy fruits. All my juicy loots. Oh, they don't even activate Liliana anymore. More land for me. Uptick, hit, map, downfall, and a doomfall. All right. Ah, Vraska's Contempt. And there goes the Vraska. Or my uh, Ashiok, rather. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, at the very least, we did get some uh, good info from them. It's too bad I don't have that... Uh, that Bayloth, what's the 4-4 Bayloth called that I passed? If they make me discard it, I just get to play it for free. Alright. Alright, just another land, so let's just pass it. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to play the land so I don't discard it to Lily, though. Let's 
Let's see if they took my Grave Titan or something. Discard Crux of Fate. And attacking with the Gonti. No blocks. They did. They took my Titan. Woodfall Primus. Okay, that's not a bad draw. That kills Liliana, at least. It's a start. Not great, but it's a start. Murderous cut, fine, persist, eat a land. I mean, if they have another removal spell for my Primus, we're dead, of course. Oh, Grey Merchant for six? Yikes. Slurp, slurp. Yeah, I mean, I have to double block here, and then we just lose to the mass two twos. Too bad. Or do we? Oh, I'm one short of being able to replay the Grave Titan this turn. Oh, that'd be so insane. If I could cast Grave Titan here, we might have had a shot. A real shot. As it stands, I'm dead to any single removal spell, but I can eat. Like, we're not dead dead here. Block, block, go to two. And then I guess we still just lose. Because I'm only going to have three blockers. So I'm going to need to cast or draw something that costs one or two. Oh, wait. Does that save me? I think that saves me, right? Go to seven, block one. <laughs> uh, not technically dead, ladies and gentlemen. Not technically dead. They would go through the, for the throat in their exile zone now, though. Oh, Staff of Nin for the ping. All right, good enough. Oh, they, they didn't attack. They could have just killed me. Oh, I conceded anyways. That's my fault. <laughs> it looks like we weren't going to get there regardless. Ah. Died to my own Grave Titan, hmm? How do we beat that? Maybe we bring in Mind Shatter? Opponent's deck seems like it's decent versus us. Primus can probably come out. Yeah, maybe I try bringing in the Mind Shatter here. And maybe even the Profane Command could be okay. Uh, no. Let's just do it like that. Alrighty, game two, round one. This hand's pretty good as well. A little bit more resilient to them uh, making me discard a card at any rate. And I guess... I guess it's okay to actually get the Overgrown Tomb here even though we don't get a black source, or rather a, um, a blue source since we already have Signet and Farseek anyways. So let's Farseek for Island. There we go, Signet into Signet. And I think what I like doing here is looking at their hand and seeing if they have an instant or sorcery. Nice. So let's take the Contempt. And then next turn we get to jam the Grave Titan, and it's going to be a little while before they can crux it away.
two turns to be exact. Well, need to draw a little bit more action because they just wrath next turn and then I only have an elf currently. So that's not ideal. I would like to draw any relevant spell, please. I'll accept it. The thing about if I just take Crux with uh, the Brutality is then they just contempt the the Grave Titan. And that doesn't really accomplish much, you know? We got the initial beatdowns, but a little bit too many mana sources here. Now opponent's going to stabilize because they're drawing two cards a turn. So many cards in their hand. I guess Primus would have been good versus Staff, that's for sure. <laughs> Doomfall. I will exile Battlement. Wait, do they not have anything? Oh, are they going to kill it on their turn so that the 3-3 three, three can't attack them? Murderous Cut? Yeah, all right. That could be worse. We want to keep running out these creatures because they have, like, Liliana as well, so... If they draw a Sacrifice effect, I want to keep the Beast, but... Again, them drawing two cards a turn is going to... Get them, uh... Get them pretty far ahead if they can just stabilize. Whoa, they're going to go to three. All right. Somehow, if they can whiff, we got a shot. Go bottom, bottom. Ah, oh, two on top. All right. Liliana's mastery it is, sure. And while Lumbering Falls was a fine draw, if I'm going to draw land, not quite good enough. That's fine. Okay, they're probably gonna pitch an extra land. Or Inquisition. Gain two, four, six, yeah, go back up to nine. And that might do it. I needed to find like Shouldred or something a little bit earlier. <laughs> Cause Lotus Cobra certainly ain't doing it. All right, Staff of Ninjas pings it. That too. Okay, I'll sack the carry added. I guess I'm going to trade the Lumbering Falls off for the zombie token now, although that doesn't feel good. Oh, Gonti's probably going to wrap it up. GG's. Take my Doom Whisperer. And I don't think we have anything that can save us from this, so... We'll give it one draw step, but... Pretty much dead here. I mean, I can kill the Doom Whisperer, but to what effect? No Magusta, the mono black menace got us. But we still got two more rounds to go. Let's try to recover from there. Here's round two of this modern cube on the draw, or rather on the play. And a pretty solid looking hand. Turn two Signet, turn three Vanifar. I'm down for it. This could be a very quick game. Man, if we just go Signet into Vanifar into Thrag Tusk, go get Grave Titan. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, let's play the carry added. It's immune to, like, artifact removal. It's summoning sick, but it has hexproof, so... Seems like a safer play, a better play. Uh, 
right. No removal spell one time. Come on. No, don't kill it. Oh, phew. okay. Just magma jet my face. First two scry. One top, one bottom. Let's see if they have a removal spell here. Because if they don't, that's what I'm talking about. Slam and Thrag Tusk. Sack and Thrag Tusk. Getting the token from the Thrag Tusk. Getting Grave Titan. How's that for a turn four? Yowza. Now I need to fade Damnation, I guess. Oh, please don't have Damnation. I was living the dream. Don't dash my hopes. Languish. Okay. Phew. Languish is okay. I can deal with that. As long as the Titan survives. <laughs> we can rebuild. We get to dump our hand except for the Silumgar too. Far seek. Go get a blue source. Uh yeah. Wait. No. Get the tomb. We only have Ashiok left in our deck as a blue card. Since Vanifar is already dead and Silumgar's in our hand. I guess it doesn't really matter. Ah, Nicol Bolas. All right, that kills Grave Titan. Man, I mean, the safe play is just to attack Nicol Bolas and kill it, but come on, this is the fun play. I get to get some extra value. Like, yes, obviously now if they kill Silumgar, they get their Bolas back, but I can't pass that up. It's just too much value. Okay, what do you got now? X spell of some sort? Finale of Promise! Oh my gosh! They get to Languish and Magma Jet- wait. Oh, did this bug out? Uh, wait, is there something that's preventing this? No, that doesn't have a static. You may cast up to one instant of sorcery from, from your graveyard. Huh, I've never seen that bug before. Well, we'll just give them the benefit of the doubt. They were going to wreck me there if that finale did actually work. I don't know if there's something very obvious that I'm missing that didn't allow them to cast it, but... You may cast up to one instant and or sorcery card from your graveyard each for the convertible. So they paid, they paid the X's for... If a card cast is... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to guess they probably misclicked through and then it didn't bug out, but it could have definitely bugged out, so no big deal. 
We'll give him the win. Uh, versus a controlly deck. Let's bring in the Mind Shatter. Let's bring in Hippie. Erebos doesn't seem too bad as a rebuy. Something like that seems okay. And then... Hmm. Might just cut the red cap, the Vanifar package, and one rando. Might be able to cut a land. Go 16 land. Let's try it like that. Okay, game two of the second round after presumably some type of bug, but maybe the opponent misclicked and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. On Finale of Promise. Cannot keep this one, unfortunately. This one is also pretty bad without a green source, but I think I'm going to keep it and just hope that we get there. It's got some good top end, but... Yeah, obviously the sand is not very good. Kind of awkward. We need a lot of help here. <laughs> Forest into land? Nope. Ruined. Ruined again. Liliana, the last hope. We can just downfall that. Probably need to since we have the Cobra in our hand anyways. Alright, found a green source. And we'll lead with Battlement. It's a little bit more resilient versus Burn like their Magma Jet. Engineered explosives for two, which kills my signet. Oh, God. And that is what we call a big ol' yikes. I guess my biggest, best chance this game is just Lotus Cobra not dying and drawing polluted Delta. But those both seem like tall orders. <laughs> sure, P and Kieran Lard. Do you also have a fatal push or something? Oh, dismember. Yes, it is. Pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm playing this out, but we'll do it anyways. They can just shoot it down with one of their Thopters after attacking, which is, I assume, what they're going to do. Or just Magma Jet here. Alright, good enough. Scoop to that. GG's. Woof, we are getting crushed. Mono Black wrecked us. Grixis Control wrecked us. Can I at least squeak one win out with this deck? Oh man, I don't want to go back-to-back -back weeks where I'm one and two, but here we are. <laughs> All right, an underwhelming 0-2 start, but let's see if we can squeak out one win with what I think is a pretty cool uh, Sultai deck here. We're on the play with a nice hand. So, that's a good start. Let's see. I guess depending on what we draw, might lead with Signet versus Night Whisper. Oh god, that was awkward. Preemptively said thanks. <laughs> Brutality is a good draw as well. Hmm. So if they level that up, it's a 3-3. Three, three. I'm actually just going to kill that here with the Brutality. And save the Knight's Whisper, sorry, the Hero's Downfall for something better. Ideally, we just draw a land next turn so I can Signet into Knight's Whisper, but... Okay, a little bit awkward. 
Next turn, we can go Signet into Whisper still. Especially if the opponent's not doing too much on their own over there. Signet. Whisper. Try to find some land. There we go. Ooh, and Plow is looking juicy. Especially if they have no plays. Nice. Oh, yeah. We definitely going to Plow them. Let's get both of their white sources. Why not? Doesn't matter, really. Okay. They can flicker in Resto Angel in response. No big deal. We get Mr. Gravy Train next turn. Go for the throat. I mean, I guess technically Grave Titan has a throat, but come on. How are you going to go for the throat, my Grave Titan, like that? I am down to nine. So let's just play Vanifar here and then uh, downfall there. Resto Angel. That's fine. Would like it if Vanifar stayed alive, because if she did, then I'd be able to murderous red cap and then sack the red cap, go get Thrag Tusk, but here we are. No plays from the opponent though. Alright. Can our little two two zombies get there? This looks like a very, very fair game. And I think because they have Glorious Anthem, I'm going to go ahead and just run out the red cap. It's not likely to be able to kill a creature unless they played in ex exactly a 1-1. So get the red cap on the board, keep the pressure online, especially if they don't do anything again. Face fetters, sure. <laughs> These beats, they feel so anemic. Uh... I need to find some of my fat cards, though. Some of my other fat cards. We did draw Grave Titan, obviously. Uh-oh. 4-2 first strike. Holds off everything. Uh-oh. All right. Battle of the top decks. Whose cuisine will reign supreme? I'm just going to block. I could technically kill it if I triple blocked, but that seems loose. Oh boy. That's unfortunate. I will double block the Siphoner if given the opportunity to here. Take four, go to five. <sighs> okay, a dog. And another land! Oh my gosh! Wow, this deck just really doesn't want me to win today. Had a good start for sure, but then we flooded out. Um, maybe maybe 17 lands is too many. But the difference between 16 and 17 lands... Jeez. Is so negligible, it feels like. This feels like a match where Languish, Lifebane, maybe the Finks, and maybe the Worm can come in. Take out the Primus. Take out the Plow. Take out a land and take out like Farce, or not Farseek, Lily. Go like that. Come on, deck. Don't 0 and 3 on me. Let's do this. Okay, game two, round three. I'm currently 0 and 2 in matches and 0 and 1 in this match. We'll be playing for the fabled uh, 0 and 3 here, but I do not cherry pick my drafts. If I record an 03, <laughs> unfortunately you're getting an 03. <laughs> really good hand here for us though. The classic mana dork, mana dork into languish game plan. Carry added just great though as a blocker here for their 2 2. As they play a dark confidant. 
can't languish here. I need to play Silimgar first, and then hopefully shoulder it after that. Okay, Legion's Landing. And a Porcelain Legionnaire. Let's Silimgar. And I'm just going to take their Bob. Just to prevent them from drawing an extra card this next turn. Obviously they could have a removal spell for Silimgar, and then they would get to transform their landing, but... I think denying them an extra card seems like the correct move. And if they don't have a removal spell for Silimgar, well then we'll be in really good shape. We even drew a zero. Nice. All right, let's go Delta, land, revolve the mama, or resolve the mama, I should say, and just pass. All right, we got a game. <laughs> Another fine play that turn instead of just jamming the shoulder red uh, is playing the signet and languishing because... I'll be able to hard cast shoulder the turn following anyways, but okay, we're on the board. Can we win one match? Please and thank you. Let's go. All right, here we are. Game three of the final round. I'm currently 0-2 in matches. This is for a 1-2. I'm pretty sure my last week's video was also a 1-2, which is, again, unfortunate, but... Uh... Well, like I said earlier, I don't cherry pick my drafts. What you what you get is what you get. I'm keeping on the back of this languish. Our opponent mulligan to five though, so as long as they don't transform that Kithian into Gideon very very fast. Uh oh, that's awful. Oh no, that turns off my languish until turn five. We really need them not to play a creature next turn. Because if they play a creature and transform Kithian, we might already be dead. All right, no plays. Phew. Life Fane Zombie we can resolve. What do you got in there? Can't steal any of those. Oh, that's pretty awkward in their deck. It's turning off all of their spells as well. Because even, yeah, even if they drew a land, they couldn't Glorious Anthem. So... We'll just pass. There's a land. They can go for the Throat My Life Bane Zombie, but that doesn't really matter as I'm going to get to resolve this Languish now, and they have Glorious Anthem Fumigate in their hand. Live, Kenji! Live! <laughs> Is there an Anthem? Whatever. All right, now we can go Signet into... I'm going to go with the Thraggy for some life gain. It's also just a big creature, too. Okay, the Doge. The Isimaru himself. Let's go Signet into Doom. Into just pass. I don't want to trade for the Isamaro knowing that if they fumigate, I would also lose my beast then. Like, they might just have to wrath right now, and at least that'll give me a 3 3. Yep. So let's surveil in response. And we're just looking for something a little bit larger than a 2 2. Oh, baby. All right. We're going to top Massacre Worm, and we're going to top Grave Titan. We did it. I think. We're in good shape to win this one, my friends. I think. Uh, no reason to run out the carry added. We're so far ahead anyways. At least have something back now that... Uh, if they have another Wrath, for example. Yes! There is a god. A god of one-twos. <laughs> I think our deck was fun. Um, ran into some maybe poor matchups, but overall it was pretty fun. Didn't really get to go off with Vanifar as much as I wanted to, but I think Vanifar is a fun card, though 
it is very, very fragile. Obviously, a 2-4 creature, you know, if they have a singleton removal spell for it, um, that kind of stops your plans. But the thing about these decks uh, is that you're normally just drafting good creatures anyway, so even if they kill the Vanifar, you can just play out your good creatures. I think I probably misbuilt the deck. Um, I think 16 lands was probably going to be okay. I mean, I only have one one drop mana dork, but then I have one, two, three, four, five, six things on turn two that can also bolster my mana. So maybe 17 lands was a little bit much, but well, that's a look at this modern cube. I think next week uh, it will be one more modern cube before we get uh, Throne of Eldraine online, but it'll be close. So either next week you get another modern cube or Throne of Eldraine will finally be online and uh, we'll be doing that. But either way, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at Modern Cube here on the MTGO Traders channel. We'll see you guys next time.